Hello all, welcome to rotanews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we invoke a BI report link from the Fusion apps. Okay, so let's get into agenda. Let us see the steps involved. So what we are trying to do is like uh, we have a custom BI report link and we want to invoke that particular BI report link via Fusion apps page. Okay, so in this particular steps, what are we doing is first step, we are assuming that we'll be creating a BI report and we'll have a executable link like this. In the second step, we'll create a sandbox with the tools like a structure as well as page composer. And we need to select a, the structure tool and create a group. And similarly, create, I mean, create a page entry with a create a page entry with a BI report link. Okay. Now, now we can see that once you click on the Fusion Apps Navigator screen or a springboard, we'll see the group which we created. Okay. So let us see this one live in a live demo. So now I'm in the Fusion Apps now. So first thing what I'll do is I'll create a sandbox, right? So there are multiple ways. So simply click on the username and you can have an option like click on edit page and automatically it will ask you to activate sandbox. I'll simply activate a sandbox now. Create a sandbox. XX BR report SB, BR report SB. And I'll select the tools, structure and page composer and create and enter. Okay. Now we'll select the tool structure. Okay, yeah, it's not refreshing. So let us re reload again. Sometimes it happens. Okay, so I'll just reload it, the page and click on structure now. Yep. So now click on create. And here, first thing what we need to do is we need to create a group entry. Okay, I'll select. Put links and uh, we'll select an icon. Okay. Click on okay. Select the icon and then click on okay. Now save and close and show on navigator. I have select the default one. Now create a page entry and here. So the first thing what we need to do is we want to create the link, the page entry link to a report. Okay. So now here, if you observe, this is one of the report, the custom report, which I have designed and the link here, if you observe, right? Yeah, this one. So we don't require a mode or you can just still exit you can just copy. Okay. Now mention this one, like a account report icon, select the icon, which is mandatory. I'll select this one. And now group, we have to select the group which we created just now. This is the one for our trainings. Okay. Okay. This is a static URL. So I'll select the static URL. And save and close. Okay, so now we could see this one, right? Or our trainings report links, account report, right? So now just click on the home page and let us observe whether we are able to see that or not. Right? We could able to see that. Right? That's it. So this is how we can create a BI report. And now now the other thing is like let us say in, in any of the page, if at all, if you want to give a report link, okay, let us see that how we do it, right? So maybe I'll select a procurement or maybe some other one, whichever one, let us say procurement purchase, what I'm selecting. 
in this one i want to create a br report link so but again we have to understand that like uh, it is simply a performing a page personalization and giving a static link right there's nothing special here but let us see that okay now click on tools page composer so here we require a page composer tool because we want to create a new link right so in the page if you want to add up any item the only way is you need to have a page composer functionality page composer tool and using which we can add up a, a particular item so now click on structure and here maybe let us say we'll try to create an item in any of the spaces i mean empty space a region i mean to say like here let us try here not here yeah you require a tab right so here i don't think it allows right so we need to make sure that the region supports creation of items so here if you observe right it is disabled you can't create any item here isn't it just see the region where it allows us to create an item then only it is a possibility for you to create an item so that we have to be very careful let's try to choose another one let me choose the other one I'll select receivables it's still left side yeah click on this one billing okay yeah we'll create some here somewhere here i'll just click on tools page composer now let us say i want to create uh, at this place like just beside review customer accounts button i want to create my account analysis account report a customer account report click on structure and here yeah it provides an option for us to select this region let's click on edit and see whether the new icon is enabled for this one right it shows an add icon for us so i'll just click on add and here we have to add up the components select components and here we require a hyperlink simply click on add once you click on add just observe what happens right so a new component got added up just close this one yep okay so now this got added up right so just okay we just need to edit this one okay so here if you observe right the region is very small and we don't have the proper way to edit it right just observe this carefully yeah this is the one okay and click on edit okay now what we require we just need to mention this one this is a url copy destination this one and display option yeah i can mention the information now here click on expression builder and i'll mention here account report target frame you can just give underscore blank which opens a new window okay can you see it shows account report now just click on close here and we could see the account report here that's it right so this is how we can create a report link in the page and we can also create a new tab with a list of report links that's a generally common requirement okay so this is all about how we can invoke a report link from the fusion pages okay thank you